Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, license your uh, uh, sub and your Java stack uh, without proper license. Uh, so, at first uh, I open the Nediver administrator uh, to show you there is an invalid license key. Just some user password and going to see the licenses. So. Uh, there is invalid temporary license start end. Okay, so now I am going to use my uh, key to generate the new license key. So let's start it. Okay, so by using this tool, you should be able to to license the Java stack and uh, ABAP stack as well. Maybe someone can make a license for HANA stack. Or HANA database. Uh, so at first, what is the point? Uh, you have to change uh, public key, what is included in uh, this uh, Java file. So I have to modify this file, uh, exchange uh, public key with my public key and uh, return back. So I open this file uh, back uh, there is a little help uh, what show me the directory in uh, where is the f that file. So this uh, user sub uh, spio nola j2 cluster in kernel and uh, this one. So I ask uh, this to modify this file. Uh, this file should be modified. After the, this modified, there is uh, one more uh, file origin. So if I show it, cluster in kernel and uh, going to back. So there are two files now, one origin uh, origin file and uh, the second uh, modified by uh, this tool. Uh, after this, I have to restart uh, Java instance. So it takes some time, sorry. Uh, here it is. So, uh, the system is started, seems to be, or not, yes, and uh, let's go back to Explorer, just some refresh, ah. okay, operation, uh, no, configuration infrastructure licenses, so, there is still my temporary license, so it is invalid, and uh, I'm going to make a new one. So, I take parameters from this so system ID, this system ID, hardware ID, and software product. The other uh, value I left. It is up to what install number or system number you choose. Uh, I select file or place where that file should be should be saved. So I can save it on desktop and generate license key. Okay, this file seems uh, it's generated. Let's see how this look like. Okay, it see look like original license key and uh, go back and install from this file mm, desktop and uh, here we are my license key and if everything goes okay I got the valid permanent key until 9.99 thank you for watching